Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Catalyst webinar series presented by the Education Committee for the Southern California PGA. The Catalyst webinar series is a bi-weekly educational platform for creating success and change in your club and career. We're very excited to have Jamie Mulligan and Randy Chang on this morning promoting the California Teaching and Coaching Summit. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us, John. Good morning, John. I believe Jamie, you're going to start, and Randy, and you're going to you're going to take over, or am I am I vice versa on that? Yeah, it's vice versa. I'm going to get this thing started. Okay, excellent. It's all yours. All right. Uh, thank you, John, and uh, thank you everybody that has taken the time uh, in your morning to come out and and listen to us. Um, uh, first of all, I do want to thank John for all he does in putting these catalysts together every Thursday takes his own time to, to make this thing happen. So John, thank you very much for, for all you do. My Absolutely. pleasure, Randy. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. So uh, I heard, uh, John, that we have kind of some record attendance uh, this morning for, for this catalyst. We do um, indeed. We do indeed. And as you guys spoke about yesterday, this is uh, probably the biggest uh, panel of presenters and, and teachers and educators that the, uh, that the summit it has. And there's a huge buzz about it. And we're grateful that the two of you guys have carved out some time today to come on the Catalyst and talk about how awesome the summit's going to be this year. Yeah, we appreciate that. So uh, with get, getting started, uh, we know everybody's not here to listen to me. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna get this thing going, and uh, starting off with with the people that don't know who I am. My name is Randy Chang. I'm the director of instruction uh, at Journey at Pachanga, also a uh, owner and operator of multiple golf schools in Southern California. And uh, I wouldn't have gotten uh, to this point without without a lot of things that has happened through our education with the help of Jamie and these summits, as, as I'll get to later on. Um, it all started out uh, in, in probably about 2015 or 16, uh, when Jamie came to the, to the board and to the officers to want to bring a teaching and coaching summit as, as we used to be able to go to nationally in Florida that happened every two years that I attended as well. And um, uh, he that, had that vision to do that, uh, came to us, we all got on board and uh, started the first summit at his place, Virginia Country Club. Uh, and that was uh, back in 2017. And um, it started there and it became probably one of the the biggest events that we had in our section. Uh, from there, we went to the Grand, the Grand Del Mar, where Sean Cox kind of stepped up and, uh, and, and offered his facility to kind of showcase, you know, what they had at his place. And that's kind of what Jamie's uh, vision was, is to have something like our PGA Championship and try to rotate different venues so, so the venues could uh, kind of showcase what they have at their place. We have not been able to see the type of presenters uh, that we'll see in this summit and even in the first summit where we could hear people like the top in the country, in the world for that matter. And, uh, and that's what Jamie has brought to Southern California. It has come almost six years now. This is going to be the sixth, the, the sixth summit that we have done. And it has snowballed and has gotten bigger and bigger every year. We had one virtual in uh, two years ago, and that still created a lot of buzz and uh, it was very successful. Uh, hence where we're at today, where we're coming back almost a little full circle here to Virginia Country Club. And we have somehow been able to, you know, one up each other as we've had a couple at, at my place at Journey at Pachanga and it has gotten again, bigger and better every single year. So we're gonna have Jamie uh, come on. But one of the things before uh, we get him speaking is I wanted to also acknowledge that 
you know, as everybody knows, he's our current national teacher of the year, which is, I don't, uh, I don't think people understand how big that that is for our section, as I don't think anybody knows this, but since it was, since it started on a national level in 1986, uh, we have not had a teacher or coach to accept this and win this award uh, ever in the history of our uh, of our PGA and when this when this award started coming out, and that kind of blew my mind. So I don't think anybody realizes that Jamie's the first uh, to to receive this award award in Southern California. So again, Jamie, uh, we're all proud of you. Uh, it's a big deal. And from there, why don't you uh, kind of let us know what's going to happen at your facility uh, this year? Hey, <clears throat> thanks, Randy. Thanks for your gracious comments. Everybody that's on the call or the Zoom, thank you very much for tuning in. And we're super excited about this year. And we'll tell you a little bit about it in a second. I wanted to say that, you know, we're uh, going on well over three decades as a PGA member and uh, have all been such a loyal Southern California PGA member. And a little bit of the impetus on how this got started is there's teaching opportunities uh, all over the country and there's a national summit, but it also felt like on the West Coast, like we were kind of like two different games. It was everybody that was West or East of Vegas. And then it was us over here and we were doing so many good things. It felt like we should try to do something at home. So between Tom, your CEO, and a couple of the section presidents that were involved at the time and the national president of the PGA, we put this together and it's been really successful. I got an opportunity uh, in my sometimes term life this year to go to uh, St. Andrews for the Open Championship, the 150th Open, got to speak over there to the European PGA during one of the summits or seminars that we did, which was really a treat. I had been to, uh, at that time, 105 major championships in our career coaching players and had been to everything on the British Open Road of it, had never been to St. Andrews. So it was, um, it's an interesting spot if everybody's been there. Uh, I know you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't been there, it needs to be on your bucket list. It's a bit underwhelming with the golf course when you see it. And by the time the week's over, it's completely overwhelming at what a phenomenal spot that it is. Uh, during one of the summits and seminars, when they open it up for Q&A, I would say we probably got 20 questions and of the 20 questions, 15 of the people uh, had uh, talked to us about something they had seen in a video at one of these past summits that we've done. So the point being there is not only do we have a Southern California presence with this, but we have an international presence with this. And it's talked about when we're on the road in the country all the time. We've so far asked 51 people uh, that are peers of ours if they'd like to participate, and we've only had one person not be able to, and they're scheduled for next year. So the best of the best in the game are, again, coming to Southern California. As Randy said, I don't think we're trying to one-up each other, but as in everything that we're trying to do, uh, we're trying to do it a little bit better day by day by day. I kind of love that statement that we've been using in the culture at Virginia Country Club is that our idea is to uh, practice excellence. And what I see so much throughout the whole world is people are always preaching excellence, but they're practicing mediocrity. And I think in this game, like excellence is so key. And, and what we're trying to do is um, pra practice uh, excellence in our process. And then we don't really have to preach anything. So we're gonna have a bunch of our friends come out uh, and speak to all of you that are coming to the summit. And you know, I think you'd be amazed at what you hear and how much you learn. Last thing about continuing education, when I was a really, really young man and I was trying to play golf for a living and not very well, I must say, uh, thank God, because I've got to do this side of the business and also the, be the CEO at our club and kind of run properties. But, uh, and I don't think that was gonna happen with the way that I was playing golf, but a guy had given me an, an amazing sum of money to go play. You know, it never really felt comfortable to me that he was sponsoring me and I ended up giving him the money back, but I raised the same amount of money from coaching when I first started that he had given me in order to do continuing education, which included, as Randy knows, a couple of three years on tour, 
and another couple, three, four, five years of going to seminars and summits all over the country in order to make my skills better. And uh, if you're a young professional and you're trying to get better at what you're going to do, please continue to do that. It's so important for your clients. It's so important to build the game. And then also to just, I think now at these summits, I get more out of them than sometimes I feel like everybody that's sitting there because I'm just enhancing a toolbox that's already pretty full, but figuring out different ways to say things. And also to realize that there's uh, there's concepts that I have that might not have been exactly the right thing at the time. And I've been able to hone our skills and get better and better and better. And as you get to be, if you're going to become a national teacher, you're going to teach golf on tour. Uh, you have to be super precise in what you're going to do. I'll say the worst thing that you can do is when a tour player, it's a so-so shot or not even anything but a perfect shot. And you say, good shot. They'll tell you why it wasn't perfect. And you need to have the eye and the skill set in order to do that. And you can only do that with experience. So with that all being said, uh, hopefully that's helpful. As people continue to do their development stuff, I'm going to tell you about our lineup. So we have... Um, I think there's four or five national teachers of the year as well on this. And we start with a couple of them, Cameron McCormick, Mark Blackburn. There are a couple of guys that I travel with. Cameron McCormick, Pete Jordan Speed, Daniel Berger, Minji Lee, uh, who's the, leading the ladies tour list right now. And um, everybody's obviously super familiar with Jordan Speed for his age, the most amount of tournament victories and, um, and majors of any player on tour. And then Mark Blackburn was uh, the preceding uh, National Coach of the Year before we got this gracious honor, which I must, must say is a team honor for our entire team, including our players and our staff. Uh, but anyhow, uh, Mark, I've probably spent the most time with. The interesting thing about Mark and Mark's, uh, per, the way he goes about coaching golf is the antithesis of the way that we do it but we end up all ending up in the same spot. And I've learned so much from him. And I'd like to say he's learned a lot from me. And he's a, he's a wonderful presenter. I think people have had the opportunity in this section to see him before. Um, then uh, from there, we're going to go into Stephen Sweeney. And Stephen Sweeney is becoming what I would say the, the hip hot and great putting uh, guru on tour. He has Joaquin Neiman and Nito Pereira and Aaron Wise and Shane Lowry. Shane Lowry finished 31 on the uh, FedEx Cup list. He's the only one of his players that he coaches that weren't in the top 30. And when you think about that, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment for uh, what they're doing. And then uh, we were going to have the University of Alabama women's softball coach speak, which is an amazing speaker and have somebody from outside our sport and something came up and he had a conflict. And I called my friend Jonah Oliver, who is the mental coach for Cam Smith. Cam Smith, as everybody knows, is the number two player in the world. And I say this a little bit uh, facetiously, but now probably the best player on the live tour as of yesterday. And um, hopefully jo Jonah will get a pay increase because of that. That's again, a little bit facetious as well. But Jonah's a special guy. Jonah's worked with some of my clients as well. And, uh, does a really good job with the mind of making it super simple and super practical about the way that uh, your mind thinks and what you need to do to become a great player. And he'll be a fantastic uh, uh, speaker. He's coming all the way from Australia in order to speak just for that day. And then uh, next we have Dave Phillips, again, a very good friend of ours, somebody that we spent a lot of time. When I first started to do this, like not very many of the marquee teachers, if any of them were watching golf, in the Ledbetter, Butch Harmon, uh, Hank Haney, Jim Clean, Rick Smith era, I would see them on the driving range, but they weren't watching golf. And I also thought that one of the most important things that we do, people say, you know, you give lessons. We really don't give lessons. We teach people to play. And in order to do that, you got to watch them play. So if you come to our club at Virginia, uh, you'll get a really good idea of um, how much that it's geared and built around people playing better. And Dave is one of those guys that's also on the golf course uh, watching. Dave also too is a phenomenal educator and probably the best learner that I've met. He's a co-founder of TPI and uh, he's worked with uh, umpteen professionals, but he also has uh, last year's world number one, John Rom going. Um, if you, if, and then uh, the last thing I was gonna say about Dave is He's going to basically tell you how TPI was founded. The fitness world and golf has become such a big thing. And 
uh, the nutrition world has become such a big thing and he's on the forefront of that. And uh, at our club, he'll take everybody through what everybody's doing um, from a fitness standpoint. I do want to pause there, you know, the, the speech to everybody as they come to this is while they're these world-class teachers and they're teaching tour professionals, don't be the person that sits in this audience and says that's not relevant uh, to what we're doing because we're not teaching tour players because every one of us that have learned to do this at the highest level are practicing the same uh, fundamentals that we do when we're teaching our members or our clients at home, junior golfers, beginning golfers. Most tour player coaches get tour player players before, after they become tour players. Of the 24 tour players that we work with, 20 of them we've known before they were tour players and our mentoring a lot has just gone from basic fundamentals. Like remember with Patrick Cantlay, we started teaching him when he was seven years old. So to watch him go through learning really how to just break 100, to break 90, to break 80, and last year become the FedEx champion, and the PGA player of the year. And I think now he's number three in the world. Um, it's been a great ride and we always go back to those same uh, fundamentals. Uh, and then uh, afterwards in that evening, we'll have a nice uh, uh, cocktail uh, reception and uh, uh, appetizers. Randy has some great music planned. I want to again kind of pause for a second. One of the uh, reasons to go back to Virginia Country Club is we have been there now for 22 years as the CEO. And there's been a plan in place to take the land that we have and renovate not only the golf course, but also to try to have the, the, what we think are the best practice facilities in Southern California. And I'm not much of a comparer about that, but the practice facilities are pretty amazing. And when you look at it, you're gonna to get to see a old driving range that was transformed into a six hole short golf course that we call the walk an area called the Hill, which is a world-class pitching green, another small pitching green off of that. On the other side of the facility, we have a 400 yard uh, two-sided driving range that has a tee that's 80 yards wide or 80 yards long and 130 yards wide. So it's all great turf to hit off of. And then right adjacent to that is a gym that we've built where Dave will present out of that gym and then a shag area that we use to hit our own shag balls and a lot of the tour players that we work with are in that spot. And we'd like everybody to take a really good look at what we do at our property in the couple of days that you're there and realize that you have space at your property to enhance your practice facilities. As the game grows, we're seeing more people with a shortage of time coming out and practicing and working on their game, but it really promotes the game and what we're trying to do. Uh, the next um, morning, uh, we will start with Susie Whaley. I think all of you are familiar with Susie, past president of the PGA, now working for PGA Tour Radio, uh, one of the top 100 teachers as well. She's also a master, prof master professional, and I get to see Susie on the road a lot and spend time with her, and she is super into uh, taking a look at between genders of what happens with lady golfers and what happens with gentlemen golfers and what are they doing the same and what are the statistics uh, say about that. And she's done some amazing research that she'll present, which will help you obviously in your days of lessons where you, you teach three gentlemen and three ladies and you're trying to wonder if they're any different in the way that they learn. And I think she's got some stuff that proves yes and no with that, which is really interesting. Uh, Next guy that's speaking is Randy Smith, one of my longest friends in the game. He's a legendary golf professional. He is the most decorated uh, PJ National Award winner. When you heard Randy talk about uh, our team award that he spoke of, Randy has won 18 national awards, and he's a PGA Hall of Famer. He's a character. He's got a great way about it. He's a Texan kind of through and through. Uh, he as well, you know, a lot of times we're on the road, we're all staying in the same hotels so in the evening time and we'll have dinner together or a beer and then at night. We'll end up talking about whatever goes on, but a lot of golf. And I've learned a lot from Randy as well. He's an old school uh, teacher that's uh, become better with the times as far as adding technological into his stuff. And he's uh, proud to uh, uh, teach the world number one player right now. So when you really think about the lineup, you're going to have. Uh, four or five teachers that have taught uh, somebody that's in the top five in the world, including uh, one of us that is teaching the number one world golfer as well too. And uh, 
I think that just the conglomeration of everybody, the information that you get, get this could be uh, the, one of the best lineups that I've ever seen at any summits, but certainly at, at our summit. And then uh, we will go into a, a, a talk from Jim Richardson, who's the national president of the PGA and doing a fabulous job. I think many of you know, he's now the general manager at Riviera Country Club. I can tell you from getting to talk with Jim and spend time with Jim and have, you know, be able to pick his brand and hit him pick mine. He is such a proponent for education and making the golf professional better and becoming a better teacher. And at the end of the day, what can we really do better than the public? You know, we can become great fitters, great teachers, great players. If you can do all three of those, congratulations. If you can do one of them, you better specialize in it. But there's more opportunity to be great at that than ever before. Um, I'm supposed to say something about myself in this area, but we're not going to. And then lastly, uh, in 1978, uh, I was looking for a place to go to college and I was going to go to school up at Colorado State. And my father got ill at the time and unfortunately subsequently passed away at that time. And I ended up going to Long Beach State. And at the time I was being mentored by a guy named Chuck Wallace, who was a lovely player. And his best friend was a guy named Mark O'Meara and they both played in the Long Beach State golf team. And uh, Mark's best friend in amateur golf besides that was a gentleman named John Cook. And I think a lot of you know the story. John Cook learned from Ken Venturi, uh, who learned from Byron Nelson and Ben Hogan. And I got to inherit John after Mr. Venturi started coaching and got so much of that gold. And Mr. Venturi had mentored Mark and I and John and Kurt Byram a bunch and told us so many th great things about the game. And uh, Mark, uh, as far as presenters, I've got to do clinics with so many different professionals. I don't know if I've seen a more polished presenter than him. He is a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame, which is the most prestigious Hall of Fame, obviously in our industry. And we've been longtime buddies. And uh, when I was talking about going to college, he at that time was going to Long Beach State. And he was like, you know, why not Long Beach? And from there, he went on to win the National Amateur and went on to be Mark O'Meara. And he's going to be a fabulous keynote. Our keynotes in the past have been Fred Couples and uh, Phil Mickelson and uh, Eddie Mirrens. And we basically have the best of the best in that area. So there it is. There's a pretty comprehensive overview of what we're going to do. I think you can hear the enthusiasm in our voice about it. I know Randy's enthusiastic. I know the section, Tom and Nikki and all the officers are. And then lastly, we want to show you some great Virginia Country Club hospitality. We're super proud of our club. It's got a cool little beachy vibe about it and a nice class about it and an amazing facility. And let's have a couple of good days. If you're not signed up yet, you better do that and tell your friends about it. We're going to sell out pretty soon. And uh, we're looking forward to having everybody there. Randy, there you have it. Thank you, Jamie. So that's why they bring me on so I can talk about you. I know you're very, you're an extremely humble guy. You hate when uh, you know people pump you up, but unfortunately, uh, I'm going to do it. But uh, you know, I've been on the board of directors going on ten years now. I've been the teaching committee chairman for I think going on about eight years now, and that's when I uh, met Jamie uh, when he we started this uh, uh, when he started this summit. He got with the committee, and and we uh, kind of. Uh, co-chaired this thing and has uh, really brought it on to uh, evolve into something extremely big and one of the biggest events, again, in, in our uh, Southern California section. Uh, besides, as everybody knows, um, he is uh, now, you know, kind of world renowned in, in teaching, you know, the, the top uh, of the top in the LPGA and PGA uh, tours. But my biggest thing that that I get from Jamie is he also <laughs> runs as a CEO of Virginia Country Club. And I was uh, privy to come out uh, through to do a walkthrough for this event. And um, the culture he has established there, as he keeps on talking about, is pretty phenomenal. When you get it going to uh, Virginia Country Club, you get a feel of, of, of comfort, of welcoming. And then it's a place when you see the what he's done with his driving range, with his practice facility, with his new walk. By the way, I believe we're going to have an opportunity uh, if you folks come in the day before, we're going to have a little uh, tournament, uh, a fun little one club tournament. 
And again, thanks to his sponsors, which I'll be getting, getting to in a little bit. So uh, for him to be able to manage all of that and then and still get out and find some time to serve for himself, it, it's pretty, been pretty phenomenal to be able to be part of that and get to know him. And I can say, like, uh, I'm pretty proud to be able to call him a, a good friend now. Uh, so, so thank you. Jamie, yeah, no, J Jamie, it's, it's been an honor. And it's one of the things where we talk about um, as far as what do you, what, what are you getting out of all of this, right? What, what do you get out of your, the, the two days you have to take off from work uh, for the, the, the couple of hundred dollars you have, you have to pay for this. Well, I'll tell you again, from a personal standpoint, as I've been doing this, um, it has, come back tenfold for sure. Uh, as I started doing this, remember Todd Kiefer, um, when we started doing this, he said, this whole thing revolves around education, to educate, to engage, and then to have fun. Uh, now, I don't know if he said have fun or maybe I just added that into it, but I won't do anything unless there's gonna be some fun aspect to it. If you come to any of these summits, that, that's part of it is not only uh, the education side of it, it's engaging with your fellow peers, uh, meeting other uh, other professionals and learning. I, I gotta say in these summits, I've learned uh, besides the speakers and stuff that I've taken away every single year, something that has changed the way that I think about teaching and coaching, but it's the, uh, the lunches, it's the parties that I've gotten to meet other people and talking about a lot of things where I've learned uh, even more. So the engagement part, the social aspect part is, is very important in this. Um, it started, you know, at Virginia. Uh, so just personally, I'm going to tell you what, it, what I have done to become a better teacher and coach and how it's influenced me uh, personally in my business as well. I remember the Virginia Country Club um, uh, watching James uh, Seekman with the short game, which totally changed my whole short game approach, which as of today, um, I am considered what, to have one of the best short games just personally. And then now I'm teaching that and kind of finding a little niche in that aspect as people out there, uh, Jamie uh, uh, talked about, you know, finding a niche. Uh, I was able to find a little niche in, in, in that, from that, first, uh, uh, from that first summit. Also got to uh, realize that I could really, I could still function and have a good time in, you know, a hundred plus heat. And so, it was a, a great learning experience. I know this year, uh, uh, Jamie's going to make sure that weather is going to be really good. Um, <laughs> that's on the, the weather's on Tom and Nikki. <laughs> Every time that's been my responsibility, it's either too hot or it rains. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> when I when I went to the to uh, to the Grand, and when Sean Cox stepped up and say, "Hey, I want to do this. This is pretty cool," and he put on another. Uh, a fantastic show, um, a fantastic event with, again, speakers, uh, with Phil Mickelson coming on. You know, uh, that was the first time that I, I saw where Greg Rose from TPI came out and totally, you know, changed my mind about the fitness aspect. And I'm glad when I started that, I went out and became TPI certified. And again, got getting to know Dave, who I'm excited to see as well. Um, and that has come to today, what you'll see what has happened uh, in my uh, new venture as far as uh, my golf schools are concerned. Um, Phil Mickelson was great because he, uh, he confirmed uh, that the Chang chip that I do, that I stole, is, is something that the, <laughs> the, the tour actually does. So that was pretty cool. Then when we got to, uh, to journey uh, at my place, uh, one of the things that I learned and took away is like, number one, I can't sing. Uh, you know, that's where JJ and, and the hackers was born and died that same night, but it was a whole lot of fun. I actually met uh, a, a young lady, uh, name is Ashley Tang, who was just getting into the business, kind of, kind of uh, just kind of networking around and was introduced to me Today, she is now working at Journey at Pachanga and is uh, working of starting to work for me. I'm training as, as one of uh, coaches. So, you know, these kind of things. As, as today, as 
so hard to find good people and good and, and good coaches, uh, good help. And as I'm trying to expand, that's been my my big thing. But because of that, that summit, these are the things that has helped me in my in my business side of it. Randy, I wanted to interrupt you on that portion of what you just said. At this point, uh, every day, somebody's reaching out to us and saying, you know, somebody that's a great professional and a great teacher, and who can you recommend? We're looking for somebody to come to our facility. And these type of events with the fraternal uh, that goes on and uh, getting to know the knowledge wise, it's the perfect opportunity to advance your career. And this is, uh, you know, still the best recommendation is a personal relationship with you have with somebody where you meet them and you go, wow, they're really effective at what they do and they're trying to learn and they want to get better. And both Randy and I have got really nice breaks in our life to end up where we're sitting right now. And uh, it all came from when we were younger, going out and meeting the right people at the right time, as we kind of explained when we talk, talked about uh, everybody that was coming to BCC, all the way back to college or even younger than that for me. So, uh, Please do that portion of it. Uh, be a leader in our section. Everybody that's listening, we all have the opportunity to be a leader as much as we want to and to know as much as we can and have a phenomenal knowledge tank uh, and a great relationship with your fellow professionals. It will go a long way. We promise you that. Yeah, uh, 100%. I just got a call literally last night from Duncan Sims at Oak Creek. Said they are looking for a, a coach. They want to uh, redo their, their programs out there. And that's kind of what we're talking about all day at these summits is, is uh, the modern coach, what we're doing to, to help facilities. And that's another thing about this uh, summit. It's not just for the teachers and the coaches. This is for all the general managers, the head professionals that have to um, – you know, uh, provide a program or having to manage teachers and coach. And we do a lot of talking about that as well. So, um, so yes, the, the social aspect, the networking aspect is, it is very important in, in what we're doing here. Um, so the last one was, uh, at journey last year and, uh, probably the biggest influence was, uh, Michael Breed's presentation and uh, where he talked about investing in yourself and it was uh, it, it, it just spurred me on it motivated me to what I am where I'm sitting at right now in my new uh, golf lab here in Laguna Niguel that I opened up and only because uh, I took that advice and when I was kind of hemming and hawing and how much I'd have to invest in this uh, that's what pulled the trigger, literally. Mm -hmm. And so I am, I am sitting here in, in, in now that's going to be opened up the expansion of my indoor facility, having to uh, invest in the, the equipment technology of which has made me a, so much of a better coach. Uh, Jamie just said this, like some of the things that I thought were correct was not, and you better know your stuff. And that's where that technology comes into play. We're gonna be having a little, a little uh, part of that, um, a segment after the first day, I believe by the last speaker, there's gonna be an hour where a lot of our presenters are, are most, a lot of our sponsors uh, come from, you know, the tech side of it. And I want to just acknowledge that right now, as well as the, again, just the actual value that you're gonna be getting um, coming to the summit. First of all, obviously, uh, Travis Matthews. Travis Matthews has been here from the beginning, and they continue to support us every single year, it, it, actually more and more every single year. So I want to thank Travis Matthews for that. When you guys get there, you're going to already get, I believe it's like the $100 um, a spending spree uh, with just, just, just getting there. So that in itself cuts everything down. We have uh, Zexio. Uh, I'm, I'm a Zexio staff member, and uh, they'll be out there showing their products for, as, especially for us uh, older guys who are losing that, that club head speed like myself. Um, they'll be, they will be out there. Uh, super speed. Another thing that I, that I work with a lot here in my indoor place, because we deal with the fitness side of it uh, as well. Uh, clip. Foresight, on form, V1, 
Therabody. Oh, the Theragun. I, 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 I don't go a lot of places without, without my Theragun. They're already giving away a bunch of uh, Theraguns uh, at the, uh, at the summit. And I, I believe for the ones that signed up early in the early sign up are getting something as well. Though uh, most of these companies are going to be giving away some of, some of the things um, uh, as a uh, yeah, giveaway uh, as a giveaway before each speaker. So it's going to be fun. The Wiz is someone that we've just gotten uh, partnered with who will be sponsoring the book. Uh, the book, if those of you have, have, have not been to your first summit, uh, we started with, with, with uh, this will be our program, all right? This is what uh, on, on the first of Virginia Country Club, a very nicely done 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 program of which we decided to step it up which uh turned into now what we call the book which now we've added to that uh articles uh, some even human uh human stories uh, and it's a great resource that you'll take home with you and literally keep with you. It's getting bigger and it'll be better this year. So it's gonna serve as your program as well as a great reading material every night and a resource of the top instructors in our section, uh, the presenters, uh, you know, past teachers of the year and, 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 and others. So uh, that's another big, big thing that you'll be, you'll be getting. Uh, what else? Our, our party is gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, again, one of the things that we wanna do here is not only educate what's going on, but ask your help in spreading the word. You know, ask your colleagues, uh, are they going? Are you like going to the summit? Uh, you should go and uh, just make sure everybody knows about what's going on. One of the biggest things that kills me all the time is like, oh, I didn't get anything. I didn't see anything on this. So your help with that is, is gonna be very important to, to to this success of which I think this year uh, it, it's going to totally sell out. So please uh, tell them to sign up. Fast. Jamie, you got anything more to add? No, oh, Randy, impressive. Thanks. A lot. Oh, yeah, we have the Wellpack sending the big tilt over too. If anybody hasn't seen that, I'm going to try uh, to get uh, Wellpack to get Randy in the corner and uh, sell him that uh, $25,000 portable green to put in his new studio. So the big tilt is basically yeah. Yeah. is he yeah. really going to yeah. yeah the big tilt's basically a green that uh, can tilt one way or another in order. And at the end of the day, I can tell you from being on the road with the best players, uh, putting is read and speed, and uh, a lot of times it's not practice like that, and it's just really helpful to do that. I got a space right. I got a space right here for that. So it's going to be perfect for that. Bring your bring your checkbook and your credit card, Randy. If not, I'll float you for a while, guys. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to. <laughs> Randy, um, Jamie, <clears throat> Randy, Jamie, thank you very much for uh, for taking the time out of your day to uh, to come out and uh, and promote the uh, the California Teaching and Coaching Summit on the Catalyst. We do have some questions that have come in. Katie Barrett is asking if there is a host hotel, and if so, how far is it from VCC? Oh, Katie, the Long Beach State Golf Coach. Yeah. Um, interesting there that she's so busy coaching golf in Long Beach she hasn't got to see the hotels but the Marriott's uh, right by the airport are great and uh, there's a Westin downtown I'm sure the section will send those information and uh, we want to thank her for the great stuff that she does uh, in Long Beach with the ladies golfers who are getting better. Also, Jamie and uh, Randy, the, the California Teaching and Coaching Summit has definitely become an institution in our section and with the momentum that it's gathered over the last three to five years, where do you see the CS, uh, the CTCS going over the next three to five years? Do you see it growing in terms of incorporating um, uh, promotion to the District 11 beyond the, the SoCal section? Yeah, with that, with that question, I think Tom and Nikki probably can answer that better. But our idea, like we said, was to you know try to practice in our process excellence with this and keep making it better and better. I can tell you as far as the 50 some odd people we've asked in order to do that, they've all been scheduled a year in advance. 
everybody on the road is busy and there's a lot of opportunities for them to do what they want. I think this has become a friendship based thing with our fellow peer teachers in order to come out and do that. And we're continuing to do that with them around the, around the country. But uh, the game is uh, becoming what we're doing in California. I think we've done a nice job of integrating into the national level as far as that goes. And much like Travis Matthew, who a lot of people know was kind of started and founded. We were the first club uh, that uh, carried Travis Matthew in our shop and our former player, John Mallinger, and a guy that we went to high school with, uh, John Kruger and Travis Johnson, one of our ex-players, they founded that. They're, they're kind of saying the same thing about their business. Like they started out as a California brand and then maybe went to Florida and maybe went to the Northeast. And now that you're seeing them in every state. And as we get to travel through many of these states, like uh, I had not been to Delaware this year to the playoffs. And uh, that turned out to be a fortuitous trip. But when we went to uh, Delaware, it was my last state to go to. And people are talking about the summit in Delaware. So I think it's getting a national reputation, which would be great. And the idea is, um, you know, this year we're going to probably sell at 300. And then we'll probably start trying to go to a larger audience with more people coming. And I don't see it going any place but growing. Uh, we want to continue to make it better. There's a lot of people behind the wheel of this, like our entire 115 co-workers at BCC are involved in what we're trying to do, John. The section's completely involved. All the sponsors that were listed as well and all the coaches, everybody's looking forward to it. So there's a nice momentum and uh, it's been one of our goals. If you have momentum, try to take advantage of it. Uh, birdies, three birdies. Indeed. Yeah, and John, uh, one of the things as well, as far as looking uh, forward to this, we have done this enough. To, we've been, done it at, at resort uh, places, uh, obviously the private country clubs right there. So kind of throwing it out in the universe as far as, you know, others, uh, uh, facilities that want to showcase their facilities that would, would want to uh, partner and, um, and host one of these. Uh, please give uh, Jamie or myself a call because uh, that's what we're looking for moving forward, as you, as, as you said. So as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we have a pretty uh, nice blueprint now of, of how things can go, depending on what kind of facility that you have, how much space you need, the utilization of your golf course. Uh, that's another thing that makes this kind of uh, um, separate but I believe anyways, uh, is, you know, how we do the outdoor indoor kind of thing. Whereas I remember in the nationals, which was really good. I enjoyed them, but you're just sitting down for all those times, the ability to, to, to see uh, the facility, see some holes, see how your, your facility, um, uh, their culture and their management. Uh, I learned a lot from, from that standpoint. And uh, uh, that's something that I want to throw out there for others that want to, you know, possibly host this in the future. Well, there's no question. Uh, there's a lot of gratitude that is owed to uh, Virginia Country Club to be allowing uh, such a large summit to, to come onto their property at such an ex exclusive uh, club is a, a very special thing. But as this thing grows and grows and grows, definitely going to need um, uh, a, a larger venue that's a little more public friendly. Randy, a, a question. Where are you right now? Are you at Talega? Are you at Pechanga? Where is that indoor facility? So, so this indoor facility, it's it's the don't Lord. do you, don't do like address Randy and your one eight hundred number, okay? Just, <laughs> okay? This is the this is the opportunity where the eight hundred number gets to flash up on the screen. I already feel, I already feel like we've done the information on this thing. Three minutes from El Nigel and 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 four minutes from on our page. Actually, yeah. So we just opened this up. It was a an existing uh, gym and uh, kind of turned it into uh, this uh, lower golf lab, what has to do with physical therapy, uh, kind of a, it's a basically a UGP model. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's this, this kind of uh, technology is here to stay. And for, I, I implore everybody to, uh, to get involved with the fitness side of the technology side of these launch monitors are incredible and all this technology that you will see there at the summit. So thanks for the plug. Thanks. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we, we're still at uh, Talega, um, Newport Beach with our tiny teeth, with my first niche, which was three to six years of age, which I, I put at least three kids through college just on that little niche in that first school, which is still here and still running. 
uh, Journey is our uh, home base, was my home base. And uh, this, this indoor uh, facility fitness um, technology really complements everything, everything that we're doing. So again, and it was all learned through being involved with these summits the last, you know, from the nationals to now I don't have to travel all the way to, to, to Florida, which I probably still will because I just got a word that they're going to be having that come back in 2000. Yeah, next year, I guess, with the, uh, with the show. But again, I implore everybody out there to do, to do a couple of things. This kind of opportunity is, um, is huge. And, and take advantage of it. And don't look at it as like, well, I can't get like two days is too hard to get. It's worth it. Worth that investment. So invest in your, in yourselves. Um, and if you struggle with say, I can't make two days, give me a call. Um, and uh, like I said, it's always loopholes. But anyways, I, I look forward to seeing everybody. I look forward to meeting a lot of new, new faces out there. And um, yes. So thank you very much, John, for the opportunity. And again, Jamie, uh, uh, you've been, like I said, a, a great mentor and um, learned, learned so much from, from you. It's not just the technical side of it or the, the coaching side of it, but learned a lot of that too. Yeah, Randy, it's been fun to do this as a partner with you too and, and uh, such a great friend and so uh, selfless and gracious like all great teachers. You know, the difference between somebody that's playing golf for a living and somebody that's coaching golf for a living is you have to be really selfish to play golf for a living and to coach, you gotta be really selfless. And Randy, you typify that. And John, you typify that as well with what you do for the section. And Randy wanted me to close our segment by telling you, John, that your hair looks really lovely today. Yesterday we did a little pre-run and it didn't look so good. So we appreciate you uh, sprucing it up for the show, John. You look fantastic. Almost like a politician, <laughs> almost like a politician. <laughs> well like i said i uh you, you set the bar high and uh, the pressure was on after yesterday so i knew i had to uh i knew i couldn't get the point today but guys on behalf of the the education committee for the southern california pga thanks for coming on the catalyst this morning and promoting the california teaching and coaching summit on october 17th and 18th also want to uh, uh remind everybody that it's a huge opportunity to pick up massive chunks of uh of pdr points uh, formerly known as MSRs, now that we're in the new cycle. And uh, a couple of uh, a key important change with the Catalyst is those of you that are on the live webcast, I also wanted to give a shout out to all the PGA members that were on this morning's live webcast. We have 56 uh, PGA members that have come on to, uh, to learn about the California Teaching and Coaching Summit and hear about the lineup of presenters and teachers uh, that, uh, that Randy and Jamie have lined up. And, you know, typically for the Catalyst, we have anywhere from 25 to, to 45 attendees that come on. And so to, to see 56 members come on this morning to, to learn about the California Teaching and Coaching Summit is, uh, is pretty impressive. So thank you, everybody, for your support. Uh, for everyone on the live webcast today, you will earn one PDR point for attending. Those of you that are viewing the Catalyst after the fact through the section education drop down Catalyst landing page, there is no longer going to be a quiz for uh, getting MS, uh, PDR points after the fact. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the education committee has decided to, to get away from the uh, archived quiz uh, format for PDR points. So in order to get your PDR point for attending the Catalyst, you will need to be on the live webcast going forward. Um, just wanted to remind everybody of that. And if you are watching this after the fact through the archives, there is no quiz associated with uh, today's uh, catalyst. So you will not need to know the exact location of Randy's indoor uh, secret teaching facility uh, that is uh, on a need to know basis. And our next catalyst webinar is going to be on September 15th. We have Kyle Mendoza, two time section champion. Back-to-back uh, -back section champion going to be coming on the Catalyst talking about some of the things he does to prepare for major events and how he can keep uh, his game at a, at a high level while, uh, while, be a, while being a working stiff too. So thank you everybody for supporting the Catalyst webinar. Randy, Jamie, thank you very, very much. And we'll see Thanks, you guys John. all in October at Virginia Country Club. Thanks, John.
Thank you, John. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, everybody.